So this is the uh, the um, video I promised. It was the time that I volunteered in a alpaca ranch and I learned a lot. I learned a lot about animals and I learned about uh, animal behavior and also some simpsidal secrets, okay? Some Masonic secrets. So what happened was, okay, let me, let me start with this, okay? First, we're gonna separate, we're gonna separate, uh, how do I, I say this? We're gonna separate practical information and theoretical information, okay? Theoretical information is not 100% true 100% of the time, okay? What you need is practical information. What these soldiers are armed with, armed with is practical information. It's information that has been tested in time, okay? Even my sergeants in the army, in the military, told me don't listen to the motherfucking commander if that commander never been to war. Just because this motherfucker has a fucking rank over you, it doesn't mean everything he says should be the rule, should be the law and shit. And I agree with the, my sergeants because you know why? The sergeants have been in the front lines with me and they've been in front lines before the war. I mean before the, uh, the, uh, before I deployed in war and shit and th this is the exact people that told me hey you know use your common sense you, you know listen to somebody who's been to war listen to somebody who's been to Iraq you know uh, compared to somebody who's never been you know because I used to have a commander that gives dumb freaking instructions and shit impractical fucking impractical instructions Sending us on freaking dangerous missions and shit. That's not a good commander and shit, man. And this motherfucker got a lot of us killed up there. For the first time and, you know, when we stopped listening to him, that's when we, when we freaking, when we stayed alive and shit. Basically, every, everybody in my platoon says, you know, you know what? Fuck this shit. The platoon sergeant says, fuck this shit. Fuck this piece of shit fucking commander. Just listen to me because I've done this shit before. And this motherfucking commander, even if he outranks me, even if he's a motherfucking officer, even if he has a fucking college degree and I don't, I've done this bullshit before because I've been in the motherfucking front lines. I was a fucking enlisted soldier like you. I was a fucking gunner before. So listen to me. Don't listen to that fucking idiot. I will keep you alive. You will stay alive if you do exactly what I fucking tell you. Because I've been right here and shit. I've gone through this bullshit before and many many times I deployed many times and you know see so why not listen to experience why not listen to practical information practical advice see so you know uh, I know I ranted there a little bit but uh, this video is about the time I spent okay in the alpaca ranch and you know uh, learned a lot so the first uh, thing is a uh, first thing I experienced was a uh, camp trails okay camp trails when I was cleaning the alpaca pan alpaca pan uh, what happened was a uh, I was cleaning it you know I was standing next to the alpacas and you know the plane flew by and it went way low went, went way too low and then it sprayed something up in the air and then I started coughing started coughing I started sneezing and coughing and you know the alpacas started uh, sneezing and coughing too so the owner the owner uh, came came by and she saw she saw us and shit and she was like hey are you guys okay she's like what, 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 what happened and then I pointed at the the plane that passed by and she was like oh I can't believe they do that blah blah, blah. she's like blah, blah, this and that and those, those particles are dangerous. Their particles are made out of uh, magnesium, silver, blah, 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 copper. She, she, she said all kinds of chemicals and shit. So she knew about this stuff, you know? So it's just like, hey, take a break, take a break. And then, you know, she checked the alpacas, make sure they're, they're you know, they're not sick or anything. 
So that that was my first introduction to you know the chemtrail shit. That's why I'm tripping over that motherfucking chemtrail shit. I know it's motherfucking dangerous because if something makes you cough and shit, you know, makes you cough, makes you sneeze like that, once it passed by and sprayed you with that shit, man. It, it, it's a, a sneeze and like a, a cough it's, it's your body trying to get rid of something okay so the second story okay the second story this is a uh, kind of like out of a science fiction movie but this is true okay so i met up with a veterinarian okay the vet veterinarian that was uh, in charge of the the ranch the alpaca ranch and she you know i start we started talking like a I brought this up because uh, you know she's uh, into science, uh, some, sci some science fiction and stuff like that. And you know, uh, I told her the the thing, the uh, some articles that I read before that you know somebody in Silicon Valley is trying to upload consciousness in a monitor or something, or like you know something like a a PC or something like that, and you know. And one of the ways that uh, they, they say, hey, you know, singularity, singularity, you're going to live forever. You're going to be uh, an immortal. They're saying is, you know, consciousness is, is energy, right? Consciousness is energy. But energy is something you can trap in a battery. So if you trap, you know, uh, you trap your consciousness into a battery, then, hey, you know, you're, you're right there. Okay. So... It's kind of outlandish, but you see what I'm saying. But but uh, what 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 she told me like really shocked me. She is about to shock you, okay? So what this uh, veter veterinarian told me was a. Uh, she says, uh, you know, she told me not to tell anybody, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you because you know you're my viewer and hey, everything is freaking, nothing is hidden under the sun, okay? Everything is revealed. In the end of days, everything is going to be revealed, okay? So I'm, I might as well just tell you this right now. Whether you believe this or not, this is exactly, exactly what she told me, okay? With 100% truth. So what she told me was, uh, you know, actually, one of my colleagues in the veterinarian uh, department, she, she says that uh, one of her friends, you know, in her inner circle, told her about some experiments that they've done with animals and they have successfully uploaded consciousness the consciousness of an animal in a monitor in a in some kind of a some kind of a battery pack or something like that and they're seeing the consciousness of function in the monitor it's like little dots she says she says uh, it's like little dots or something like she's not technically uh, you know trained she's not she's not familiar with software and you know uh, coding or things like that or uh, software uh, engineering so the way she described it to me was like she's like oh like little dots like the, like here and there and just like some of them are like red and blue some of them some of it is like black or something in color and there's like movement on the screen she says it's like moving on the screen and you know, they were telling her that those movements are representation of the consciousness of the animal that was uploaded right there on the screen man so you know she says it's like it's still early the technology is still early they're still working on it and this was like two years ago okay two years i mean no no three years ago three years ago 2017 okay so hey you know you be the judge okay i just told you the 100 percent truth of what she told me okay whether you believe this or not that's what exactly what she said so I was kind of like, I don't know what to tell her. I'm just like, man, I kind of I kind of froze right there. I'm like, what the hell, you know? <laughs> what the hell are these people doing and shit, man? If you think about it, like, you think about it deeply too. It's like, you know, the Big Bang Theory, like, blah, 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 this and that. And then, you know, consciousness. And you know how they say, you know, uh, the new age uh, people, they're like, oh, you got a soul. You're a, you have a spirit. You're, you know, you're energy. You're, just, you're nothing but energy. Your consciousness is just... You know electromagnetic impulses you know you're a uh, electromagnet blah 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 this and that electricity electricity here and there you know i don't want to get too technical because i'm gonna lose some you know uh, some people that want to hear my material who are not technically inclined so i want to keep it simple and 
you know that's it for this video i <laughs> hope you enjoy that you know tell me tell me what you think in the comment section it's pretty freaking crazy man with, with this freaking covid 19 thing covid 19 we gonna build a wall a six feet wall i wanna win don't you wanna win we are gonna win against this virus covid 19 coronavirus where's uh, mikey 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 pence hey hey mikey give me some fries and filet fish also get me some coke America is number one. Re-elect me in 2020. Your president, McDonald Trump. Dippity-doo-dah. Peace out.